exercise and hormone release. Exercise is beneficial for the body in many different ways and allows us to sustain and improve our health and fitness. This benefit arises from the functions of the central nervous system every time one exercises. There are two parts of the nervous system which work by releasing hormones and sharing electrical impulses throughout the body. The central nervous system involves the brain and the spinal cord and this is the area that releases beneficial hormones with exercise. One of the most important functions of the brain is to release these hormones. While exercising, hormones called neurotransmitters are released by the central nervous system. These have a first-hand effect on your mental and physical health. There are different types of neurotransmitters which act in different ways and are specifically released as a result of physical activity. These are called endorphins, serotonin, epinephrine and neurotrophin. Endorphins are known as the feel-good hormone and when released during exercise will improve pain levels throughout the body. The feel-good neurotransmitters produce what is called runner's high. Serotonin is released after physical activity and has been shown to improve mood, sleep and appetite. The brain is capable of producing small amounts of this chemical hormone on its own. However, exercise is one of the best ways to increase serotonin levels in the body. Epinephrine, commonly known as adrenaline, works by increasing the heart rate. When exercising, more oxygen is required by the muscles in the body. The increased demand is met by the effects of adrenaline on the heart and the vascular system. This results in improved energy levels and a better response to stress. Following exercise, neurotrophin levels increase in the brain and the spinal cord. Neurotrophins can enhance neural processes such as learning and memory. Any kind of exercise will positively affect the release of neurotransmitters. Cardiovascular exercise, including total body workouts such as running, biking or swimming, is aerobic exercise that raises your heart rate and improves oxygen delivery. This is the best type of exercise to enhance neurotransmitter delivery throughout the body. The brain is such a powerful organ that it can release hormones the second you begin exercising. Most benefit is obtained when vigorous physical exercise is performed for at least 30 minutes three times a week. So remember, it is possible to exercise at any time and feel the beneficial effects of the hormones released by the central nervous system. This will maintain a healthy brain and body.